I think I need a glass of wine for this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new here, just start subscribing before I start. Eh? But let me introduce myself. My name is Miriam. You can call me Mimi. I'm a natural hair YouTuber, content creator, blah, 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 lifestyle blogger, vlogger. I'm a Nigerian. I'm based in Canada. And guys, so I've been feeling homesick lately. Like I've been feeling so homesick. Like random thoughts just come to my head about Nigeria. I was like, oh gosh, why don't I just put my thoughts in the video? So I decided to shoot this video. So, I got my glass of wine. And I'm just thinking like, what exactly are the things I miss about home? There are so many. There are so many things I miss about home. Like, it's so easy. When you're, when you're at home, it's so easy to like, uh, maybe like criticize it or find faults and whatnot. But when you're away from home, that is when you start to see the value of what you had. And you start to miss it so i've been missing home so much lately and i was like okay what are the things you're missing i said to come up with um the top 10 things like uh, so at this video i'm going to tell you guys about the top 10 things i miss about nigeria first of all i lived in abuja for like 10 years yeah about nine or ten years before i came to canada so everything i'm going to say in this video i'm just relating to Abuja or Kaduna, which are the which are the areas I stayed at. The number one thing, <laughs> the number one thing I miss so much about home. Ah, Amala. If you're in Abuja or if you lived in Abuja, you must know Iyo Iyo in Wuye, that Wuye Road. Or is it Oju Elekba? There's Oju Elekba in Guarimpa. Those two places. They are Amala. Hey, Jesus. Ah. Like, thinking, like, talking about it now, like, I wish I could just, like, disappear and appear there and just, like, eat and then come back. Oh, my God. See, eh? Yo, yo. First of all, just get ready because you're going to queue. <laughs> One, like, anytime I go to Yo, yo, Eh? like the queue the queue is as long as oh my god like if you go there during lunch hour sorry just go there like an hour early because you're going to queue and people don't mind because it's totally worth it and the best part about your your food is that they will now if you're going to eat in not to take away you're going to eat in, they're going to serve you your food in stainless bowls like i can't remember last time i saw stainless bowls until i went to your your and I, I was even thinking about like why do they even use stainless bowls then it, i think i think it was in canada it actually occurred to me that okay maybe the reason they are using stainless bowls is because i mean if you use plastic bowls it's going to they're going to probably change the plastic bowls every month because the amount of oil in that food there eh? <laughs> The amount of oil in that food will destroy any plastic bowl. So stainless bowl will be the easiest. I'm saying the stainless bowl, eh? Ugly looking stainless bowls like this that they used to serve you food. But who cares? It's not the bowl you're eating. It's the food you're eating and the food is to die for. Like if I buy a yo yo takeaway like this, I'll just come to my house and sit down. Like when you're in your house, nobody's there. Like I will take off my clothes. I will sit down in front of the TV. I will heat it up. I like my food hot. I will heat it up in the microwave and I'll sit down. And I'll eat this thing like this. Eh? I've eaten Amala in Canada, Shabo. So just there. It's like Oibo Amala. But ah, yo, yo, Jue Legba. For me, yo, yo, top seat. Ah, okay, that's number one. The second thing I miss about Nigeria is. open market <laughs> guys i think i think i think this open market should probably be like the number one thing i miss because god i miss the open market like 
I'm the kind of person that I love to cook, right? Like, I really, really love to cook. So at home, like during the week, even during the week, sometimes after work, I branch, I pass to the market and I just buy fresh produce and I come back home and cook. But weekend, Saturday morning, like this, I'll have my bath. I, maybe I'm never, I don't even want to cook anything important too. Maybe just pepper soup I want to make or, or maybe just okra soup. But I like when you go to that Saturday morning or Sunday morning. No, Saturday is the best. You go to the market like this and the farmers have brought the fresh produce, all those fresh produce straight from the farm. You're seeing your carrot. The carrot still has deaths in it from the soil deaths in it. You're seeing the okra, they're still washing the okra, the oranges, they're still washing the oranges. The yam still has plenty of sand because they just uprooted it from the ground. Oh, God. Then you go to all those Igbo women in the market that sell food stuff. Ha! Huh? They just arrange all the smoked fish, stock fish, dried fish. Like, you can, just, you can just stand in that market. You can just stand in the market like this. Eh? And you already seen the things you're going to cook. You already seen the things you're going to cook in your head. Ah, God, I miss open market so much. And one of the best parts for, of me for, for me for open market is that you can price. If you're not Nigerian, eh, what I mean by price is that you can haggle. You just go there like, ah, madam, this small fish like this, 200 naira, haba, not be 15 naira. <laughs> And in my mind, I'm like, ah, that's not fair. Oh, why we price something somebody's thing 15 naira? Eh? That's not nice. But I swear to God, eh, sometimes I just do it for fun. Like, I might end up actually paying how much you told me initially. But it's that process of haggling. Uh uh, it's not this. Uh uh, remove 15 naira now. That thing is so interesting. <laughs> like, sometimes I want to just, like, I leave my shop, leave my shop. Come on for you, no buy. I know they sell. I know they sell. Come on, come on, come on. I will just, I will just start laughing. But I'll be like, ah, that's not fair. Why will you do this to somebody? <laughs> but that haggling is fun. Like ah, someone like me now. I speak Hausa, right? So when I go to the market, I'll just go to those malams. I'll start speaking Hausa. When they see this yellow girl that looks like an evil, that is definitely an evil girl speaking house for them like this. Ah, they're so happy. If I, if I want to die, it's just a hundred naira pepper that I probably probably be like this. I'll leave there be like one nylon bag full of pepper. Oh my god. Like if you come to my fridge in Nigeria, open my fridge like this, it's just fresh, fresh things. Like you know how you just go to the market and you know like you're two hundred percent sure that what you're buying is fresh. Ah, nothing can beat that like yeah i like shopping in the grocery stores here yeah, it's fun but like it's fixed prices man you can't even haggle i want to go to the market where you put your leg inside put a put you roll your you roll your trouser you wear slippers you be jumping put a put a you be pushing each other like this to pass your uh, uh, human beings everywhere like by the time you come back before you come back you probably just like see someone selling a uh, orange or selling sugar cane you now buy that one or pepper soup you now eat that one you now continue continue your shopping again you can spend all day in the market <laughs> i swear everything like everything you want to buy you will see it in one market boom like this you know here that maybe you want to buy this you have to go to this grocery store to get this one or go to that grocery store to get this one here everything you want is in the market you ah let's go to number three okay number three the third thing i miss oh god i feel like all these things i'm listing in this first three like i'm listening i feel like they should just be like number one a number one number one a number one b or number one a whatever like they should all be number one because this number three eh, is another top one for me. Oh my god. The third thing I miss about Nigeria. I don't even want to say it. Okay, let me say it. The third thing I miss about Nigeria is that point and key fish. Hey. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. If you lived in Abuja. You know what I'm talking about. When you go to a bacha barrack like this, ah, you just see fish, 
fish everywhere. Like you're surrounded by fish. Fish, yo. This, you see these those barrack women, those barrack of, of um, soldiers' wives. They are saying they're roasting fish. So come and meet you like this. They'll come with fresh fish. Ah, madam, buy fish. Madam, buy fish. Madam, come on, madam, see my fish. Madam, see my fish. So you're, you're spoiled with choice. Like you're spoiled for choice. You, you can decide to pick this one or pick this one. So when you have too much options, what does that mean? It means that the price is low. Like you can haggle, you can price, you can just say, Madam, how much is this fish? She'll probably be like 2,000 naira. So, ah, 2,000 naira for this small fish. Now, wow. Then, but, but, of course, when you're haggling, somebody else is there saying, Madam, see my own, Madam, see my own. When you, not tell, when you tell this one, you know, we sell one, two. You're like, ah, Madam, it's not good now. This one is telling you, Madam, my own, I want five. You then probably bag this one. You say, oh, your own, how much? This one, I say, okay, Madam, no worry. Bring the one, two. Bring the one, two. Oh, God. And that, but you have Everything you want is there. There is a... Um, gizzard though there's catfish there's croaker fish when they roast it for you like they'll garnish it so well do not season do not put like pepper sauce on the put it on one big tray they now pour pepper sauce on top now put lime by the side do not fry chips potato chips hi take that with one chilled bottle of anything you like ah <sighs> Oh, there's one other place in Grandpa that they call Crush Cafe. Hey! But this one, their own fish is a fixed price though, because it's like a really touche place. So, uh, well, it's not as if it's that touche, but it's touche enough. Their fish is 3.5. Like, you cannot price it. It's 3.5. But it's worth it. Oh my god, that fish is nice. They don't grill the fish. They grill the fish on open fire. So when you bring it, it's like dry and very spicy. And then they serve it on a bed of um, flat bread, like the shawarma bread. So they put the shawarma bread, put the fish on top of the shawarma bread, pour the pepper sauce on top, and then they give it like a coleslaw by the side and chips by the side too. Ha! Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, God. See, see, I'm, my, ah, I'm already salivating. Ah. No. That fish is to die for. I go my siblings are in Abuja. I just take them to take them to Crush Cafe, and then we eat fish. Sometimes we can't even finish the fish. Like we just take the remaining back home. But you see that point and kill fish. Ah. The number four thing I miss about Nigeria is kicking a pepper. I know some people might be surprised like kekena pep. Yeah, actually the kekena. Actually, you really, really hate kekena peps because they are freaking annoying. Like when you're driving, kekena pep is there hustling for road with you. But like, look at this thing. I can't even use breeze and blow you. Just fall. Are you crazy? Why are you why are you following me to fight for road? They are so I don't even know about other states. But see the keke drivers in Abuja, they are mad. Like all of them, I said they smoke something before they go and start driving that kick in a pep. Oh my god, they are annoying. But you see why I miss them? Hmm? It's because let's say you need to get somewhere sharp, sharp, and it's not far. You don't want to drive. Or maybe your car is broken down or something. And you just need to just go somewhere. Just come out, just come outside like this. Keke. Like it's so easy to go from point A to point B from here to there. It's so easy. Kicking up pressure. So they come in there, they can be very useful. I hate them all. I despise the drivers. But they come in handy. Yeah. They, 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 I know they've come in handy for me like a lot of times. And they are safer than bikes. Like if you see if you can see my scars. Like I got I got this car. So I sent these cars. When I had like a really, really bad accident, I thought it was going to kill me. And that was on a bike. We, I collided, I was on a bike and we collided with a car. So since then, like bikes were a no-no for me. So when they brought Kekes to the country, I'm like, okay, this is safer. Although the drivers are mad, but Kekes are safer than bikes. So yeah, like from here, like if you want, if you don't have a car, you want to go somewhere, it's either you walk or you take the bus. Which can be annoying because the buses can be delayed and they are sometimes like they can be so slow and they stop and stop and stop and stop and stop. Like somewhere that will probably take you like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to go to on a good day, probably take you like 45 minutes. Is that annoying? And then, or you use Uber. Of course, Uber is expensive now. So, Keke, 
you can take 20 naira keke 50 naira keke oh my god i miss keke for that yes so that is my number four let's get to number five so the number five thing i miss about nigeria is roasted corn and pear or bully and fish hey <sighs> see eh? please i know that my the things i'm missing are mostly food related i know because i like food hmm? okay disclaimer so oh my god when it's gone season like this i'm like the happiest person ever because Oh, let me add this to that list. Boiled granites. Ah! Oh my God. When is PS gone season like this? My colleagues know me for this one. My former colleagues know me for this one. That is my lunch. I don't even bring food to work. I don't even buy lunch at work. Once it's lunch time, those women that sell uh, roasted, okay, well, in the office, those cooked corn, like if they sell the corn, they put the corn in like rice sacks. The rice sacks keeps the corn warm or hot. So no matter what time you buy it, you're still eating hot corn. And those Nigerian corn is sweet. The corn we have here is soft and sweet. And the kind of sweetness the corn here has is like they put sugar. But this the corn in Nigeria has like this natural sweetness and it's not too so I don't like soft corn. So I don't even eat corn here. So my as I was saying, my lunch at work was boiled corn with either pear or coconut, any one they have. And then bald granite. Ah, oh lord, oh lord, I miss that so freaking much. Bald corner. We are, when I'm going home like this in the evening, I'll just stop at the by the market. There's this woman that sells roasted corn. When you go there in the evening, see Q or people buying roasted corn. Everybody's there looking, pressing the corn, trying to see which one they like, which one they like the texture. Like, I'll just then I think about that, like, ha. Huh? Imagine doing that during this coro period, which was like spread the coro, coro like uh, like candy, because everybody's touching the corn. I mean, as they're touching, that was somebody else will eat though. You're using your bare hand to touch the corn that is on the fire. So like, why do you be using your hand to touch corn? But then we're oblivious to corona now. Thank God, thank God corona wasn't it wasn't even existing there. Like, I wonder how people even buy corn now if they even sell corn. I don't even think the woman will let people touch the corn. Well, whatever. But honestly, like roasted corn. When you buy your roasted corn, then the pear. Hmm? They'll roast the pear beside the corn. You now select your corn and select your pear. Just that combination is mad. That combination is mad. The combination is to just, just, just turn my head. Oh God. Oh Lord. Oh. I feel like I feel like I feel like doing mac macaron macaroni's dance here, Mr. Macaroni's dance. Mm -hmm. ah, oh, roasted corn and pear. I just like I can eat boiled corn and granite for lunch, and boiled granite for lunch, and then I'll eat roasted corn for dinner. I kid you not. And that thing again, I love that was that bolly. Ah, roasted bolly. You don't know bolly. Bolly is plantain. They'll roast the plantain for you like this with fish. Big roasted fish like the pepper everywhere. Hey, there's one place in you say you go and queue. That means everywhere is queue. Anyway, you see good food like local, better local good food is queue. So you just go there. You just buy like ro roasted. You can buy one roasted plantain, one roasted yam with one guy ginormous fish like this. Everything probably be like three hundred naira. Ha, oh, God. I miss Nigeria. I'm just trying to imagine buying that kind of food in, in Canada here. You probably spend like $40 or something. Huh. As in, when you eat this, like, you'll be full all day. You can't even eat anything again. <laughs> mm. That was number what? I have no idea. Uh, okay, the number 16. I mean, okay. I think I should just say that these things are not going according to the way, according to the way I want. So I just random figures because honestly, I don't even know. The number six thing I missed about Nigeria is suya. Hey, oh my God! I never thought I'd miss suya like this. Like sometimes I just look down on suya. Like even my my house where I was living in Abuja, then like just 
I can just walk like five minutes or three minutes and I'll see one mile I'm roasting suya. Mm. But now eh, if I see suya now I can do any I can do anything for suya, not anything. <laughs> but I won't <laughs> I would just love to just lay my hands on suya right now. Oh my god. I miss suya so my, my, my favorite suya is chicken suya. I don't really like beef suya because sometimes it's hard. But chicken suya, hey. There's this place in Grandpa where we buy, we all buy chicken suya. That place, eh? I don't even know. Anytime good, I just wonder, like, how do these people get their chicken? Like, I don't feel like, I don't think there's enough chicken in the whole of Abuja to satisfy these people. There are so many outlets in Abuja. And sometimes you, you literally have to, like, call them to make reservations. If not, oh, yo. Like, let me tell you what happened to me one day. I went to one, like, after work. I was like, okay, let me go and get chicken suya. That's going to be my dinner. I got there like maybe like 5 p.m. Or maybe like 5.30. I left, I left work by 5. Got there like 5.30 p.m. And there was plenty chicken on the fire roast on the open fire. They roast the chicken in open fire. So there was plenty chicken. It's only like a round pit kind of. So they like, um, like put the chicken in sticks and then put it around the fire. The fire is like a pit and then put it around it. There was so many chicken there. I'm like, oh, thank God. So I'm going to get chicken today. I told them I wanted chicken. They said, okay, you have to wait. I thought they were joking, though. No. I didn't know I literally had to wait. Hmm. Guys, that's how my very, very before. You see one car will just drive and come. One fine mile and will just come out. It will speak how, sir, oh, um is my chicken ready it's ah so rankadan so rankadan that's the many small the many small before i said jack robinson that one person has parikai like six they'll, they'll, they'll bring her like six chicken on fire and cut it for him ha ah, ah hey before another person will come ah kazana ya is my chicken ready for him that one just come kind of like eight Mugbe. Then I was just I was just standing there like this in my very before. Every single chicken on that fire finished. I was begging them. It's just one. It is just one that I want. Please, it's only one I want. Please, please, would you give me one? They say no. Then they've bought it now. They've paid for it. I have to wait. Guys, you don't believe it. They told me to wait for them to put the next batch of fresh chicken that's never seen fire. That probably take like one whole hour. This is she wait for them. I see it's not me and you people. Only one chicken. I left. I was so upset. Eh? Hi, God. My the guy I was seeing then we probably like then we just go we just drive to that place by like maybe like two of the chickens here. Then we go we just get drinks. Then we just stay indoors and like have a movie night or something like on a Friday movie. It's always fun. Oh. I miss chicken suya so much. Like this, I think when I go to Nigeria, ah. Okay, the number seven thing I miss about Nigeria is oh I'm bad. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, guys! Like I miss oh I'm bad so much. Eh? Hey God, like that is your perfect excuse to dress. This way I do it. The way I stretched it to dress up. Ah. Gele on flick check makeup on flick check ashwebi on flick check your nails your shoe your bag accessories everything on flick check picture perfect picture ready hey god ah, like if i have a wedding to go for like it's my friends and i will start planning early first of all my tail my tailor my tailor in abuja was good but she was good for me i miss you for me we'll finish work for my show be like this then of course i did my makeup myself because i'm pretty good at makeup right then i don't really like gay lay because it gives me headaches so for me i just like do like i probably just style my natural hair like one really really fine fancy style not just this like something really maybe like an up a wrap like wrap my hair or something you look very very bright, dally kind of, yeah. Accessorize and then do my makeup and my shabby. Ah, 
see my, my friend if you watched my intro intro video i talked about my best friend that died her name was chine chine she used to get invites to like all those big weddings because she worked in a bank and then her customers they usually invite her to all those weddings maybe their children are getting married or stuff like that so i was always her plus one ah she just she just sent me a message like on thursday or wednesday she was like babe get ready we have wedding this saturday i'm like yay ah, nigerians we are extra like we are extra with a capital e go for a wedding like this thing go for one but i don't i'm sure lagos one is like on another level i see the pictures and videos so i know Leg lagos is on another level <laughs> but let me talk about the one i know which is abuja ah like you go for weddings like this, you can't even recognize your colleague because their hair and makeup and gilery is like, ah, ah, this girl, you can clean up like this now. Wow, you look nice. Hey, when you go to go to the dance floor, everybody, eh? Ah, then I mean, after the wedding, now put the DJ will now put uh, DJ will now change the music to party songs. Everybody, your heels will come off, gilery on the floor, start rocking it like no sending. Ah. I miss Nigeria. I miss Nigeria so much. I just, well, I know that right now things have changed with the whole Corona. I don't even know how they do one best. So one documentary or something about how they're like, we're like only two people on the dance floor, only two people per table. I'm like, oh, one bear is dead. Boy. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the eighth thing. I miss about Nigeria is ah Nigerian church. <laughs> oh my god. First of all, that is another opportunity another opportunity or another excuse to play dress up. Bloody hell. Go to a Nigerian church on Sunday. Just Catholic churches are kind of I'm a Catholic, so Catholic churches are kind of conservative although now ah uh, they said you know but you go to other Pentecostal churches like maybe like Koza in in Abuja hey then I went to Koza like that not hear I did not hear anything the pastor said I was just like this mm -hmm. I was just looking like I just went there to go and look oh my god like here in Canada like churches don't like the services or the masses don't run for more than one hour like top sometimes even 55 minutes 50 minutes mass is done or service is done nigeria hey two hours and above yes sir. two hours and above never ever ever less than two hours never offering we must dance Everybody stand from your chair. Dance to the altar. Drop your offering. Dance back to your chair. And trust the choir now. They'll be giving it to you. And you'll be dancing. Time for tight. Everybody. Mm. Second offering. Mm. Ah. Hold on. This is a party of words. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, my time you're done from church like this, and when you go home, you just go and sleep because you're exhausted. You've danced and danced and danced and danced and danced. You're tired. <laughs> oh my god. Like, ah, the difference is so much. I don't even want to even go into the difference. It's crazy. I actually really, really like churches here because they just like stick to the basics, do everything you need to do. The sermon doesn't even take more than like 10 minutes. And they're done. Same one in Nigeria. Ha! Ah, the pastor or the priest will stay on that altar and be preaching. Oh, sometimes one hour, pastor is still preaching. Oh, give me. Someone like my dad. My dad will literally just stand up and walk out and go home. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh god, but I swear I really miss Nigerian churches. Then after church, ah, that's when everybody will now start greeting each other. You see this family, ah, Mrs. This, how are you doing? Ah, I see your daughter, she's so grown. Where is she now? Ah, ah, my 
my dear, how are you? What are you doing now? Uh -uh, I, I see your son. Oh, I have a son. My son is in. I think we should connect them, don't you think? Ah, our Nigerian mothers. <laughs> I said, oh God, we are extra. We are like extra, 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 extra in everything we do in Nigeria. And I love us for that. Like, we are not basic. We are not basic. Ah, my mom can be so, um, I hope she doesn't see this video, but she can be so annoying after church. My brothers will want to cry. So sometimes well, what we do is that we go to church with two cars. So after church, we'll just leave her, stay there and greet the entire congregation. We'll just enter the car, second car and go home. Because my mom would be there, she would greet me. Ah, ah, Mrs. This, this, hey, oh, they go quiet. Oh, it's been a while. Ah, ah, we start talking. That conversation will last like 10 minutes. Then she'll go and greet the, the priest. Then she'll go and, ah, God. That's number eight. Then the number ninth thing I miss about Nigeria is our night life. Hey, 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 hey. Ah. I don't even know where to even start from. Start talking about our nightlife. Ah, when you come out like this, it doesn't care that it's Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, no matter the day of the week. Clubs are open. If you're a club person, if club is not your scene, lounges, like just where you can just, I like lounges, that's my own scene. Like lounges where you can just go and chill, maybe like you listen to live band, or maybe the DJ is playing something nice in the background, just watching something on the tv or on the lounge chair just sipping something sipping a drink and taking finger food you can that one too is there if that's not your scene you want to go to like all those roadside people that sell roasted fish or indomie and egg at night or just go and sit down in one bar they have plenty bars oh my god every corner every corner is a bar you can see one small kiosk like this beside it is a bar. You see one bars every everywhere is a bar. Just in the evening, like just go there, just see cars everywhere. Just sit down there. Everybody's drinking and buying beer. The next day come, same thing. Come the next day, same thing. Ah no matter the time of the night, my estate where I stay in Guarimba, no matter the time, people are outside. Ah, the Canada has like zero nightlife. For you to even like really, really have the kind of fun you want, you need to like spend a lot of money, spend so much money. But in Nigeria, you can have so much fun with 5k, just 5,000 naira in your pocket, you will have mad fun. How much is a bottle of beer? A bottle of beer is like 200, like 300 naira. How much is roasted fish? Roasted fish, maybe like you want to get the small, be like 2,000, two, two between 2,000 and 35. You can sit down there and your friends can share one fish and take beer and you're good and you're having fun. Girls are coming. If you want to talk to girls, there's music, DJ. As in like all those bars are by, by the road there. Eh? They are your makeshift clubs. So as DJs play music like this, eh? for you know, play one that will enter your head. Everyone just stand up on their table. Hey, as in, ah, God. Ah, no, no, no. I miss all these things so much. Here. You need to create the fun for yourself if not sorry for you like you need to go out of your way to create fun for yourself so you can imagine how it is now with the coronavirus and social distancing and everything you can imagine how it is now the last but not definitely not the least the last one is the freedom this one i don't really know how to explain it so like the freedom you have in Nigeria, I wish I knew how to explain this better. Like Nigeria, you're, you're free to just like walk up to somebody and just say hi, introduce yourself, you guys track up a friendship and all that. But here, everybody is so self-conscious. You don't know the one that you do and they'll go and sue you. Harassment or, or this one or, or that one. Or. So everybody just on their own, everybody's just minding their business. Like you can enter a train, like enter a bus or something and nobody will even talk to you. You can even be falling and dying and nobody will just look at you and pass. Because nobody wants to even be associated with... Like in Nigeria, eh? Your neighbor will be the one to beat your child. Like discipline your child. Like, are you mad? How dare you pick that food from the floor and eat it? Do you want to kill yourself? Carry cake. Mm, 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 mm. Eh? We tried here. Ooh. 
You can't even discipline your own child. You can't even flog your own child. Police will come and arrest you. Is that bad? Hey, your child, as in, like, let, let someone in the, on the bus see you shouting at your child or flogging your child. Forget it, though. For you know it, social services will just come knocking at your door or police or something. So that freedom, that freedom, you're, you're, you're free to eat in anybody's house. You can just walk to your neighbor's house. You're cooking. Ah, ah. A neighbor, you know, they cook. I beg, I beg. I want chop. Oh, they'll bring the plate for you. Just sit down. Ciao. You can't even do that here. Here, you don't even know who your neighbor is. Everybody just minding their business. Nobody, nobody even talks to anybody. Probably just pass them along the way. Maybe when they're walking their dogs or maybe just on the street. And they'll be like, hi. They'll be like, hi. And that's it. Ah, well, Nigeria, you guys will stand and gossip, 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 gossip. Ah, do you know what happened to that, uh, Madam Dizit? Did you know I heard that this person did it? <sighs> That's why I am to just keep myself sane. Like, I'm always keeping in touch with Nigerian stories through Instagram and Twitter. Actually, Insta blog Nigeria. Like, I just go and look for all the gist and laugh. Go to the comment section and laugh. And, oh my God. And I just put my own comments and just laugh. So I can just, just feel like I'm in touch. I'm in tune with what's happening back home. Like, mm. I really, 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 really miss him. And I can't wait for this whole corona, everything to just like subside so we can travel. Like, I'm going to go home, spend some time with my family, eat all. I'm not going to even eat uh, what is restaurant or you both food rice. I don't chop and finish tire for here. I will eat all the local food, Yamala, everything, roasted fish, point and kill, go to Apache barracks, eat the corn, if, there's, if it's corn season. It's corn, granite, pear, everything, abacha, isie, wunkwobi, pepper soup, all those names, all those things. Ah, I trust my mom now. Like, she, if I just tell her what I want, she'll just be preparing, preparing, preparing. Money just be eating, eating, eating. <laughs> hey guys, so I swear I had so much fun shooting this video. And I'm sure you guys loved it too. If, there's, if you live abroad and there's something you miss about Nigeria, please drop it. I, I swear I'm dying to hear what other people miss about their own country. It doesn't have to be Nigeria. What you miss about your own country. Please drop your comments. I want to see what you miss. Please tell me, tell me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all of you. Please drop your comments. Don't forget to like my video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let me go and finish my wine and continue reminiscing about my sweet, 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 sweet country. See you guys later. Bye.